Hi, I'm Irvin Gers, and welcome to another edition of Ray's Garage. Today, we're going to talk about the F clutch on the 10R80. One of the uh, one of the things that we discovered while trying to take this apart is that. Um, it's a little bit difficult if you don't have the right tools to get the piston out of the F clutch. And what the manufacturer, Ford, uh, they want you to remove this steel ring that's on top of the, uh, the piston. This is the apply ring. So they recommend you gently and carefully remove the ring. So I'm using a screwdriver and a little hammer here and doesn't take a lot of effort so you don't have to you know put a lot of pressure on it and it pops right off so here's where the special tool part comes in is trying to get down to push this piston down and what i found was is that when using the conventional components of this What you'll see here is that on this foot press, this bar is not wide enough in order to set this up on there to where you can press down the piston in order to get the snap ring out. And so came up with a plan and an idea that seems to work real well. 68 RFE overdrive piston. Some of you guys have probably replaced these using other components or whatever. Um, I just happen to have this one laying around. So what I'm doing here is I'm setting this up here and where I have an opening here, I can see the opening of the snap ring right in here. Then I just use the bar off the tool and put the pin in there grab up my snap ring pliers and screwdriver or even a pick will probably do for the rest of this. So I'll press this down. I get to the open end of the snap ring. Now this is where you have to use a little finesse. Find a part of this snap ring that you can come in here and lift up on it. And depending on how much trouble you run into this, sometimes it's good to have a second person with you. But if you're alone in the shop, that may not be an option. But we can just keep working with this. You might also have to move your piston around a little bit. And I'm just pushing up on the snap ring now. It's out of the groove, so I can release the foot press. Pull that off, and there's my snap ring. Easy as that. Then you can go on about your business getting this piston out of here the rest of the way. Um, if you if you figured out how to use air to get this out of here, you can use the output shaft and the, uh, I believe that's the ring gear that goes in there, set that in there and you can air pressure it out. Or you can just turn it upside down on something soft, not a cement floor, but maybe a mat that's on your floor and just kind of gently tap it. It will come out of there. Um, putting it back in is just as easy put that back in there try to center this on the piston put that back together and now you can just basically walk this snap ring back into its groove And there we go, there's the F clutch for the 10R80. Now that we've done the 10R80, the 10R60, it's a little brother. You can do the same thing, but it's a little bit different as far as what you're gonna do to get that off of there. Now at this point here, by the way, I can either load the F clutch on here and air test it and it'll seat this ring, or I can come around here and I can just gently 
tap it. Just make sure it's all the way down. It doesn't take a whole lot of hammering on it to do it. So there we go. That's the 10R80. Just so happens that I got a 10R60 F clutch assembly here, along with the C and the D clutch. This one's going to be a little bit different, and I'll show you why. Again, pop the ring off. So now, I can still use the same piston, but notice when I put it on there, it goes over the outside edge, which is actually part of the drum. It doesn't sit on the piston to compress the springs that's underneath there. So, remember you took this ring off, turn it upside down, put it on the F-clutch piston. Now, we can use our overdrive piston. Okay. So anyway, I got the snap ring off. Now you can go ahead about your business. It just so happens this one comes right up out of there. And to put it back on, we'll do the same thing. Put that back in there, get this ready to go down. Center that. There's my opening. Looks like everything's in place. Everything's looking good. Now, you take this, turn it upside down. Put a little pressure on it. And there you go. So there's the F clutch for the 10R80 and the 10R60.